Stretching across the Nazca Plains, like a giant map or blueprint left by ancient astronauts, lie the famous Nazca lines of Peru. Peru is associated with the Inca civilization. In the Peruvian desert, about 200 miles south of Lima, there lies a plain between the Inca and Nazca valleys. Across this plain, in an area measuring nearly 450 square kilometers, is an assortment of perfectly straight lines, many running parallel, others intersecting forming a grand geometric form. In and around the lines there are also trapezoidal zones, strange symbols, and pictures of birds and beasts, all etched on a giant scale that can only be appreciated from the sky. The figures come in two types, biomorphs and geoliths. The biomorphs are some 70 animal and plant figures that include a spider, hummingbird, monkey, and a 1000 foot long pelican. The biomorphs are grouped together in one area on the plain. Some archaeologists believe they were constructed around 200 BC, about 500 years before the geoliths. There are about 900 geoliths on the plain. Geoliths are geometric forms that include straight lines, triangles, spirals, circles, and trapezoids. They are enormous in size. The longest straight line goes 9 miles across the plain. There are also huge geoliths in Egypt. Malta, United States, Chile, Bolivia, and in other countries. But the Nazca Jewelers, because of the numbers, characteristics, dimensions, and cultural continuity, forming a most impressive as well as enigmatic archaeological group. The Nazca lines were allegedly made by removing the iron oxide coated pebbles, which cover the surface of the desert. When the gravel is removed, they contrast with the light color underneath. In this way, the lines were drawn as furrows of a lighter color. The Nazca plane is virtually unique for its ability to preserve the markings upon it. Due to the combination of the climate, which is one of the driest on the earth, with only 20 minutes of rainfall per year, and the flat stony ground which minimizes the effect of the wind at ground level, with no dust or sand to cover the plane, and little rain or wind to erode it, lines drawn here tend to stay drawn forever. For the interesting discovery of the Nazca lines and further interesting facts and theories behind the construction of these mysterious lines, please watch the second part which will be released in the next week. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel.